Hi everyone and welcome to today's session. I am so excited to take you through some of our brand new releases today that you know were announced at Canva Create but now have been released to educators across the world. So I'm going to take you through a little bit of a tour of some new features and then we're going to have a deep dive into um, Canva code and how you can use that in your classroom straight away. It's available now. So let's get into it. But before we begin, I just want to do a really quick introduction. So hi, everyone. Um, my name is Mel Beasley. I'm an education community manager here at Canva, and I have had the absolute joy of working with the Canva teachers community for over three years now. So before we dive in, I'd also just like to thank um, Christina for inviting me to present at today's um, showcase. It is such a privilege to be here with you guys today. So thank you so much, Christina, for inviting us to participate. All righty. So here's what we will be covering today. Um, today, I'm going to be taking you on a little bit of a whirlwind tour of our latest features. Um, these new features are really changing how teachers plan, teach and assess in their classrooms. Um, so I'm going to take you through that and then we're going to go on and explore Canva code in a little bit more depth today. And I'm going to take you on a little demo of how you can use Canva code in your classroom to make some awesome classroom widgets. And finally, I'm going to wrap up by providing you with some additional resources. Our design school team have been super busy lately creating amazing learn and plays and some new Canva courses as well. So I'm going to provide you with those handy links um, so that you can make the most out of your Canva for Education account and learn, continue to learn about these new features and how to use them in your classroom. Let's kick off by spotlighting some of the newest tools we've built specifically for classrooms. So from planning tools to personalized insights, everything we're about to show you is solving real educated challenges. As we know, teachers face these three major hurdles daily, and our product team has been working very hard to build features that meet those exact needs. Let's take a closer look at the features that help teachers to stay on top of lesson planning and assignments. So these next features have been created for teachers who want to save time with tools that make it easy to plan lessons, assign and track assignments and create content all in one place. So let's go in and have a look at these awesome new features. First up, we have Canva Sheets. So Canva Sheets is a visually dynamic tool that helps to merge data and design. So whether you're tracking student progress, you might be building rubrics or collaborating with students on data entry, um, Canva Sheets really reimagines spreadsheets for teachers. So it's a super smart tool that's really connected. So it allows you to connect your designs and your data together to really make well, beautiful data and beautiful data visualizations. So whether or not you are, you know, you might be a data expert or somebody who just loves working with data, or you might be a little bit more like me, somebody that's not particularly fond of numbers, um, Canva Sheets is very intuitive. So it really allows a broad spectrum of people to use it um, easily in a, you know, in an easily and informed way. Okay, so with Magic Studio at scale, you can create personalized content faster than ever. So Magic Studio at scale allows you to easily scale content creation and your impact. So you can upload data from an existing CSV file or import that data directly using the Canva data connector. So what it does is allow you to generate many different designs in a click of a button. So for example, um, you could create different variations of teaching resources using Magic Studio at scale or within one tool. Um, you could remove backgrounds all in one go from multiple templates. You could translate many pieces of copy all at once. So it really allows you to do all of that at the same time in one tool. All right, next up, we have the all-in-one visual suite that's been released recently. So this is such an underestimated new feature and personally, one of my favorites that was launched during Canva Create. So the visual suite 
2.0 or the all-in-one visual suite allows you to bring all of your ideas together within one design. So as you can see down the bottom here in this image, a teacher has brought in a Canva presentation. They've then layered in a Canva doc, a Canva sheet, and a Canva whiteboard all within this one design. So what this allows you to do is really, it allows you to put together, you know, a plan for the day, add in all of the resources that you need and deliver that straight to students in a portfolio format so that they can work on that either independently or collaboratively. So it is an absolute game changer for organizing all of your resources and having them all in that one design file. Um, honestly, I think the opportunities for all the all-in-one visual suite are just endless. You could have students creating a portfolio of, of work throughout the year and adding in all of their designs into one location. You know, that's perfect then for them to use at, you know, parent teacher meetings or just to have as a reflection as they work throughout the year. Um, but definitely highly recommend you trying this um, and giving it a go. Um, for myself personally, I've really enjoyed it. I do a lot of project work and it's allowed me just to keep all of my designs in that one location so that I'm not hunting around for them or missing links or whatever it might be. It just keeps everything together in a nice um, seamless um, space or a nice organized location. So as you can tell, I'm a big fan of this one. Next up was one of our biggest wish list items from our teacher community, and the team have absolutely delivered this. It's very exciting. Um, so it's called Assignments. Um, it now makes it a lot easier, easier than ever, to assign tasks and track student progress all in one streamlined place. So it's simple yet powerful. Um, this tool allows you to monitor individual and group performance, and it just creates a more organized and engaging learning experience for all. Alrighty, so next up, we're going to take you through some features that focus on personalizing learning with actionable insights. Our next set of features are for teachers who want to quickly spot trends, track student progress, and adjust teaching to meet their needs. Okay, so this is Magic Insights. So backed by AI, Magic Insights helps uncover patterns, trends, and key takeaways, transforming data into clear, compelling visuals and summaries. So this is really perfect for teachers who want to easily identify which students need additional support just by using a simple prompt. Next up, is magic charts. So you are now able to transform data into stunning visuals that help captivate and educate your students and fellow teachers in seconds. Okay, next up, I'm going to take you through some new features that focus on making learning interactive and engaging. All right, now for the moment that everyone has been waiting for, let's talk about Canva AI. So I'd like to introduce Canva AI, the all-in-one creative partner that helps users go from idea to impact at the speed of conversation. Next up is one of our community wish list items. It's record a, a voiceover. So you can now easily record your own voiceovers right within the Canva editor. Um, and you can transform, you know, your videos, um, your lesson resource content, um, directly within that Canva editor. So you're able to share your words and your visuals all at once now, which is really exciting. And if you're not feeling like using your own voice in those voiceovers, you can now use AI voice. So AI voice allows you to transform your words into natural sounding audio in seconds. Simply enter a text prompt and choose from a range of AI voices, no equipment or voice talent necessary. So it's a really great tool for students who prefer learning by listening versus reading. Um, and we all know that teachers are using your voice all day long. So if you want to save some of your, um, your voice for the classroom, you can use AI voice to mix things up. And one of our audience favorites, Quiz Generator. So you can turn everyday presentations into interactive moments for your audience through the power of AI. You can simply select elements from any presentation and an AI will transform them into an engaging quiz in seconds. Um, so you might be saying, hey, Mel, this isn't exactly new. Uh, you're right, but it has been revamped. So it's definitely worth making a note that this has been revamped during Canva Create launches um, and it's definitely worth checking out if you haven't had the chance to already. 
So you might have noticed when you log into Canva now, there are some new tools. Um, we'll take a look in a minute when we do the demo. But in your toolbar, there's a great new button called Canva AI. It's your all-in-one AI creative partner, and it helps anyone go from idea to impact instantly. So you can create any kind of social post. Maybe you're promoting the next bike to school day, a poster for your classroom, or you know a checklist of things to bring to camp. You can now do so by popping in a prompt there um, into Canva AI and clicking, you know, design for me, create an image or draft something for me, whatever you might like to there. It's definitely a really fun one to play with. So I encourage you to take a look at that if you haven't already. We are going to take a look at um, using this in just a second. And for our headline act in this session, Canva Code. So Canva Code allows teachers to build interactive experiences with AI, no coding skills required. So with just a text prompt, teachers can generate functional dynamic experiences in seconds. So honestly, the opportunities are really endless to Canva Code. Um, teachers can create things like instructional materials, like interactive maps or timelines. Um, you could create practice games like ordering planets or even classroom management widgets like countdown timers, name spinners, dice rollers, etc. Um, honestly, so many amazing use cases that are possible using Canva code. Um, and a really popular one that we've been seeing in the community. Uh, we've really enjoyed within our Canva Facebook community, seeing teachers in there excited to use Canva code and sharing their newly created widgets with one another as well. So I'm going to take you through a little demo now showing you how you can use Canva code to create widgets of your own at Canva code in action. So I'm going to start off here on the Canva homepage. As you can see, I'm on the homepage because you can see my profile picture in the lower left corner. And then up here on the left, we have um, our toolbar that says home projects, templates, brand, and Canva AI. I'm going to go ahead and select Canva AI. And that's going to open this dialogue box here for me. So this is where I'm going to go ahead and add my prompt for Canva code. And so for the purposes of this video today, I'm going to keep it really simple. I'm going to create a classroom dice roller widget. So I've got my prompts ready to go that I created earlier. I'm going to paste that in here. Just as I said, very simple today. Create a simple interactive dice roller widget for classroom use. From here, I'm going to select code for me. And then I'm going to submit that. It's going to do its magic, its magic AI, and produce um, some code here for me to create my dice roller widget. So for the sake of time, I've already gone ahead and produced this widget. So this is the end result. So as you can see here, I can go ahead, I can roll that dice, and it will keep a track of my roll history. I can select two dice if I want, and I can also edit my prompt here or add to that as well to create different iterations of this widget as we go so that we can get that perfect and exactly customized for what we need it to do. I'm not going to do that today because I'm happy with how it is right now, um, but you can definitely spend time crafting something that's fully customized for your use. Now that I've created my widget, I can select use this in a design, and today I'm going to use it in a website format. So if I select website, it's going to automatically add that in to a website for me. And here, just like any other Canva design, I can share that, I can publish it as a website, or I can share it with students, I can assign it to students, etc. So really, really amazing stuff that's possible using Canva code. Now, the team, our content team, have been absolute angels, and they've put together a template collection of different um, templates and different um, prompts for Canva code. So let me open that up for you and show that to you. So I will provide you with this link, but in case you want to follow along now, it is canva.com forward slash collections forward slash classroom hyphen widgets. 
And in here, if I go in and select, um, let's select this place value template. I'll select customize this template. And then when I go in, the team have gone ahead and they've added in the exact prompt that you can put in to create a um, place value with base 10 blocks widget, uh, which is absolutely amazing. So I highly recommend you go and browse this template collection. There's wonderful, wonderful things in here. So that's just one example. Um, they've also added in, here's another really great one, um, like an activity picker, so like a choice board. If I go ahead again and select customize in here, it gives you a bit of a preview of what the widget might look like. And then down here, they've included a prompt that you can copy and paste that into that prompt dialog that I showed you earlier. So yeah, amazing stuff here. It's so awesome to see some ready created templates. You know, if you're not completely comfortable starting or you're not sure where to start, this is a really great place to begin. Um, you can certainly uh, adapt the copy, the prompt copy that they have here to customize it to your needs as well. Um, but yeah, just a really handy tool for you to begin there. So I thought I would just show you that. Awesome. Well, as I said earlier, like the opportunities for Canva code, the use cases are absolutely endless. And we have just been loving seeing what teachers have been using Canva code for. So as you've been able to see in our demo just now, Canva code is not just for the workplace. It has amazing classroom applications. And as I said, there are endless and exciting opportunities here for teachers. You know, from bringing instructional materials to life, like making interactive maps or timelines, um, there's just so much that is possible with Canva Code. And we are really excited to bring Canva Code into the educational world, into the education world. And we can't wait to see what you're creating with this. So please, if you're not already in that Facebook community, please jump on in there and share your creations with us. We would love to see them. Okay, well, that brings us to the end of me spotlighting the new features that have recently rolled out. Um, I hope that wasn't too quick. I know there was a lot of new features to get through today. Um, I really just wanted you to learn that these new tools and features exist because there are so many that have such great implications for the classroom. Um, and then from here, you can actually just jump on to our amazing design school within the Canva homepage and learn more about these tools yourself in your own time. There's some awesome resources on there called Learn and Plays, which, as the name suggests, uh, allow you to learn as you play within the Canva editor. I highly recommend you going ahead and practicing using those, um, as well as some amazing Canva courses that we have available as part of our design school suite as well. So one of those new courses is called Canva AI in the classroom. Um, highly recommend you jumping on and having a go at this course hosted by the wonderful Jonathan and Ellie here. Um, it's full of amazing practical content for you to learn how to use Canva AI um, so you can use it in your own classroom. And please do stay connected with us. Please join our Facebook community by scanning that code there. Um, I would love to see your creations within that Facebook community. I'm in there every day, so I'd love to connect with you and chat with you over there. And if you're interested in becoming a Cambassador as well, we've got um, applications are currently open for a Cambassador program. So that link there, that QR code, if you scan that, um, will provide you with some further information on that as well. All right, well, that brings us to the end of our session today. Huge thank you for watching. I hope that you've learned a lot. I hope you feel um, really compelled to go ahead and start using some of these tools that we've talked about today. Um, and again, just want to say a big thank you to Christina for inviting us to participate in the showcase today. I hope you enjoy the other speakers um, also presenting today. And I'll see you over in the Facebook community. Bye, everyone.